Hi there. I've been tinkering again, as you may have guessed from the link to the spreadsheet I posted yesterday. Essentially what I've been trying to do is to combine the various charming strategies that I've created. So we have the main one which does the sort of fully fledged original job that has a 25% lay offset uh, with a view to greening up for half the original stake. Uh, and I'm looking to combine that with the one with a 15% lay offset that used variable green up. Now, the thing about the variable green up was I imported that from the original variable green up strategy uh, and modified it accordingly. But if you recall from the those videos um, relating to that process. The variable green up bases its various trigger points on the value of the maximum profit possible within the market or the maximum liability within the market. Whichever one you chose, you, you chose at the beginning prior to the actual event starting. I incorporated that in, into the job, but modified it so that it was all based, the trigger points were based on the value of the free bet one obtained when the cover bet was matched. So you'd end up with a free bet on whatever runner you've selected and zero and everything else. Now that worked really well for lower priced runners specifically. Because a fully fledged job, as you come down in price, it becomes harder and harder to actually job because there's simply nowhere for, for, for the horse to go other than win the race. And that's particularly true if you, if you were thinking about doing a fully fledged dob. Uh, you can't dob below two. Uh, the other thing about that, of course, is that, as you're all aware, the tick size as you come down in odds decreases and decreases. So, to be able to half in price from four to two, uh, there's an awful lot of ticks to cover compared to having in price from 10 to five, say. And since lots of people think in terms of ticks when they're trading, that might or might not be an issue. Whether it is or not, I can't say. Just a gut feel, if you like. In any event, what I've done is I've tried to combine the two so that um, it will green up for the higher priced runners at a better profit, but still allow me to make use of horses and selections that are trading quite low. Indeed, in some of the videos I've shown you and the screenshots I've shown you in recent times, there's quite a few selections in there that were odds on. And they were greening up for 17, 18 pounds or so. So that's the reasoning for, for, for going down uh, this route. And the strategy is actually quite simple because I'm not basing it on profit or liability. I'm basing it on um, the starting price that was taken. So down the right hand side you'll see that the basic rules. Uh, first one uh, sets up the uh, SP bet. Uh, this switches to the market. Then we play a couple of messages about going uh, at the post and behind uh, to load. Uh, this one simply checks that a BSP has been submitted and is sitting in the market and that the market's actually in play. After that's been checked and confirmed, four seconds into the race, one of these three lays is placed. Either 15% offset, 20 or 25 offset. Once that's in, we have a cover bet message placed just to say that the cover bet has been taken. That's all. It doesn't do anything else. And then once that's um, been played, the green ups will kick in. Now I'll green up for £20, £30 or £40, depending on the odds. Now all these figures are open to tinkering. Uh, but I've gone for as a first stab, I've gone for uh, anything less than 2.5 SP will green up for £20, anything between 2.5 and 4 will green up for 30 and anything greater than 
for will green up for 40. So that's the nearest to the fully fledged job, although it isn't the fully fledged job in that I'm not greening up for 50. I decided to go this route simply because that uh, obviously the greening up for 40 pounds as opposed to 50 pounds means that I'll be taking slightly higher odds, so there's a greater chance of that getting matched. But also remember what I've said to you in the past and you've seen in action in numerous videos that when the green up, the automated green up kicks in, more often than not, you will receive a profit greater than the profit target that caused the triggering of the green up process. So if you were to look at that spreadsheet, and I'll just pull it up just now. So if you were to look at the spreadsheet, um, you just need to scan through here and you'll see lots of 40s and anything above 40. There's a 50, a 44, another 50, 44. So I would expect that typically over a longer period of time for greening up at the 40 point mark, I would be approaching 50 anyway. Uh, so that was the, that's the reasoning behind it. Um, whilst I've got the spreadsheet open, uh, you'll see these are the results so far over the last couple of days. Reasonable profit, although today has been a little bit of a disappointment so far. Uh, thanks to these two losers around about uh, tea time. Um, but I've also started at the behest of one of the subscribers. I've started to record my selections and it's BSP and recording its profit and loss if it had been placed as a straightforward BSP bet. This is not something I would generally do um, simply because I know from past experience that my uh, emotions will play too much of a role. My mental state can't handle long losing runs. Uh, when trading, Dutch trading or doing chobbing or whatever, I think the most losers I've had in a row is three. Uh, and I've done lots of them now. Um, but I'll record it anyway if anyone's interested. And you see today there's actually been a nice profit of nearly £300 so far. But I wouldn't necessarily do that myself. But feel free to have a look at this spreadsheet as and when. I'm going to probably leave it up for about a month uh, to record three or four weeks worth of data and see how it, it goes. Okay, other than that, everything behaves as much the same. The basis behind it is the same in terms of chobbing, placing a bet, placing a lay with an offset, and then greening up for a target profit. The same as the other chob routines that you've seen already. Okay, guys, thanks very much. I'll speak to you later. Cheers.